Hey, I'm Chris Zeff from Make Everything, and today I'm gonna to show you a really cool product, a grinding disc that will grind and finish in one step, something that you may not have heard of that will absolutely help you in your metal shop. Check it out. All right, so if you've done any metal working, you're familiar with a couple of the things here on the bench. So right here, you've got a standard flap disc, which is fantastic for removing material, removing weld material, grinding metal, anything like that. Now, if you're not familiar with a flap disc, it's essentially pieces of sandpaper glued in this flap orientation. And as you grind away, you expose new grinding media, which allows these to work for a really long time versus like a flat sanding disc. Now, another thing that you use a lot in metal is a Scotch-Brite or a non-woven abrasive like this pad right here. Scotch-Brite is a brand, not the actual name of this. Uh, these are non-woven pads. They make, a lot of different companies make them in a lot of different grits, and you can really do a lot with these on your metalworking projects for finishing. Now, if you're going to use a grinding disc like this, and you want to finish it with, say, a non-woven abrasive like this, you could use one of these Velcro-backed pads, which will give you sort of a uniform finish without removing too much material. These would be for finishing, uh, brushing, adding a you know stylized finish that you would maybe want to leave or you want to remove heavy scratch marks so that you can paint. What this right here is, is the topic of this video. This is a disc that accomplishes what both of these do with one disc in essentially one step. All right, so looking at this disc, we've got what looks like the non-woven abrasive and then a piece of sandpaper glued in sequence around this disc. Now this one in particular is an 80 and 180. So that means you've got 80 grit abrasive right there and then you've got 180 grit surface finishing right there. This is very similar, but this one is a little higher grit. This is a 120 and 240. So you've got 120 grit sandpaper there and then 240 grit surface finishing there. Now at first glance, you would think that you would basically be grinding with the abrasive on this whole disc because it's kind of a little prouder than the surface finishing. But once you wear into these discs, what you're gonna get is a really nice blend of grinding and finishing in one step. Now these discs are relatively soft and the corner is pretty soft, which I like a lot because you can sort of mush them into the corner of a weld and get a really good finish. This is what one of these discs look like once they've really been used. And it's very smooth at this point, but I've still got a good bit of surface finishing disc in there. So a disc that's this worn is actually still extremely useful for finishing. And if you look over at the edge, you can see I've sort of rounded it by wedging it into corners and finishing things up. I use these on the bike racks that I just finished. And these are how I was able to blend all the rough ground corners and rough ground joints to a really nice smooth finish before paint. Now I'm gonna show you how to use these types of discs, but I just want to explain a couple of practical applications for these where I found that they're extremely useful. So a lot of times when I'm making a piece of furniture, I've got a flat weld on a corner and I wanna be able to grind that down efficiently and then prep it for paint right away. So a lot of times with a heavy flap disc, which will do a great job removing that weld, it's gonna leave pretty deep scratches. And if I wanna get those scratches out, I have to bring that base metal down. And then by bringing the base metal down, you can introduce dips and at a high gloss level, when you're painting something, you're gonna see all of that. So with something like this, you can creep up on that initial surface and also give yourself a really smooth finish with just one disc. And that's really the key, is that you're just using one consumable piece versus having to bring two grinders, two discs if you're outside on a site or if you're, you know, maybe only have one grinder in your shop. I have multiple grinders in my shop, so for me, I like to keep finishing disc on one, a grinding disc on another, cut off wheel on a different one. Um, but, you know, if you're trying to work lean and you wanna have one grinder, having a set of these discs, having a bunch of these laying around can really help with your finished product, especially on flat welds and notched joints in round tubing. So let me show you how well these work on a piece of flat stock. Here's a typical flat weld on a piece of tubing. I've got an outside corner and a flat weld that was beveled before I welded it so there's not too much sticking up there. This is done with a MIG welder, not a TIG welder. So I wanna show you how using one of these grinding and finishing discs, I could take this thing down and not leave too many big scratch marks that I'm gonna to have to then try to blend out later before this goes out for paint.
So look at that, in just a matter of seconds, I'm able to take that well down. It's perfectly blended. It's very, very flat. And I was also able to polish out this corner. Now you just can't do this with a regular flap disc without leaving tons of scratches. For comparison, I'm gonna do the other side with just a regular grinding disc so you can see the difference between the two. So you can see the grind marks in this with a flap disc are much, much heavier. Now in order for us to bring this up to a more polished and clean look, then we have two options. So we could go back to the polyv leaves and we could take these heavy grind marks out, which is a really nice method, or we could go to a straight surface conditioning disc on a slower speed grinder and grind out these heavy scratch marks to make it smoother. We're gonna use the polyv leaves so I can show you how if you already have a ground project, you can use one of these and it'll keep these lasting a little bit longer and we can make this a lot smoother. So another application for a grinding and finishing disc like this is when you're working with tubing. So this tube was notched and then welded on in this T-joint. Now if I want to grind this out, I'm going to want to feather this out nicely so that I don't leave any real significant flat spots in this round tube that are going to show up when I bring it in for paint. One of the things I really like about these discs as well is that since they're pretty soft, if you jam them in a corner, they'll braid in a sort of rounded fashion so you can really dig into corners if you have to. You can also see that the backer doesn't go all the way to the end of the abrasive, so you're not going to hit this backer until you've really worn down that corner up to this. So you can see how quickly I'm able to bring down that weld and also not leave any significant flat spots in this tube. Now another way to deal with these types of welds is with another type of flap disc that I've talked about and here I'll show you just the way that you can use this in combination with a curved disc to get a really easy kind of finish on a welded joint like this. So these are another type of flap disc that I've talked about in other videos. These have abrasive that wraps all the way around to the back and these are great for getting inside corners. Check out the other video if you want to learn more about these and I'll show you how a quick combo of these two discs if you are going to be grinding a lot of these can be a really efficient way of dealing with these welds. So another great application for a grinding and finishing disc like this is if you do any plasma cut parts. So this is off my plasma table and you can see the dross here on the back. So there's a little bit of just slag from the plasma cut and if I'm going to give this part away, um, I want to make sure that it's nice and clean for the client or even for myself. Now some people use a tumbler, but it's not always efficient with time if you don't have time to tumble apart. So now I'll show you, I've got it uh, clamped down on my magnetic vise and I'll show you how quickly I can get this part looking really, really nice and finished to deliver to a customer or use right on a project. So you can see really quickly, very, very light, almost no pressure, I'm able to make this part look really nice and polished. And I could go and take the other side as well and get that cleaned up and deliver these off to a customer and feel really good about the product that I'm handing out.
All right, that about does it for this little video. So these grinding and finishing discs will absolutely help you on your finishing work on your projects, um, especially if you go for paint or if you go for any sort of a patina, being able to take that ground in corner and make it really, really nice and smooth is gonna just help elevate your projects and just help make the whole thing go that much better. And like I showed you with this plasma cut part, if you make parts that need to be welded onto pieces or welded into you know other applications, if you can give them this really nice brushed or semi-polished look, it'll just help make them look a little bit cleaner. And it also makes them easier to work with. If you now had to take this part and TIG weld it or do anything with it, it already looks great. It took just a couple of seconds. Um, and you're also able to grind stuff down. Now, like I said, this is sort of a combination of a more traditional surface conditioning wheel and a grinding wheel. There are obviously arguments to use one or the other or both, but if you're trying to grind and finish with one wheel, this is what you want. Uh, like I said, there are a couple different grits that you can get. I actually prefer the 80 and 180. I feel like the 80 is just enough where it can grind down welds efficiently, and the 180 is still coarse enough, but also fine where it gives that really nice burnished look. The other ones that I often use are these 120, 240. And again, really great product, super worth trying out, and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're enjoying these specialized videos about processes and tools in the shop, please let me know down in the comments. I have a bunch of projects that I'm working on, and that's really where I started out with my channel, but I found that I think there's a lot for me to share with people and a lot of information that I can provide people, tricks and tips that I've learned in the shop that I really feel are valuable and can be helpful to my viewers. So if you like this type of video, please give this a thumbs up, leave me a comment, let me know what you wanna see next. I've got a video coming out next week talking about how to drill holes in metal that I think will be really helpful for people that are just starting out and trying to learn how they can punch holes in steel without ruining their drill bits and driving themselves crazy. If you wanna see what I'm doing on a day-to-day -day basis, check me out right here at Make Everything Shop. And if you're interested in the Faird products, I recommend you get one of their tool catalogs. If you go on their website, there'll be a link down in the description. You can go on there, type in your address, and they'll send you this nice fat tool catalog with tons of helpful information and a whole rundown of the thousands of different products that they make. Faird has been around for a long time. They make a tremendous amount of products and the stuff that they have in there is much different and much better than the sort of regular off the shelf abrasives that you're used to dealing with. If you invest a little bit more in your abrasives and your consumables and your finishing tools, you're gonna to find that you're able to work faster, more efficiently, and you're gonna enjoy your time finishing your products better. I guarantee that. So thank you to Faird for sponsoring this video and supporting my shop. Check out the Paula Flees discs, links down in the description. If you have questions, let me know and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this, more videos in the shop making stuff. I'll see you next time. Thanks.